There's a little baby sitting on the back of the chair. I can hear him making noises. Oh, he's flying away. Come back. I've got some food for you. Oh, magpie lark's chasing him. I wanted to show you the mother bird feeding the baby bird. I'll throw this here. There you go. And hopefully, hopefully he'll feed his baby. Oh, baby took a piece. Well, you're getting game, aren't you, baby? Oh, well, that's all I brought. I only brought a few pieces for the baby. Do I have to go and get some more? Oh, hello. I don't have anything for you. Or you. Hmm? <laughs> all right, I've got some more food. This is a big bit though. I'll try and squish it with my fingers. Oh, oh gosh. You're all going to have it, are you? I'll give some to that butcher bird over there. Nope, kookaburra got it. <laughs> oh, what about you? Do you want some, do you? You'd probably eat my fingers too, wouldn't you? Just. <laughs> there you go. Got a huge beak, haven't you? Where'd that butcher bird go? There you go, little butcher bird. Yay, he got it! That was the baby. Learning to feed himself and a big black crow's just arrived. Hello, big black crow. All right, that's it. I haven't got any more. G'day guys. Welcome back. Um, I'm doing this little video mainly for myself so I can remember what I'm doing, but I thought I'll video it. If it works, I'll put it up for you guys as well. Um, I'm going to try and make some waves. Frothy waves. They have always eluded me and I haven't really tried again for a while because I thought, I can't do it. But um, I got these little samples from um, Platinum Resin. This one's Art Class, one hour. So as the name suggests, it sets up in an hour. Just little samples, A and B, equal parts. I've mixed up 30 grams of A, 30 grams of B. And been sitting in here for coming up to 10 minutes. I just want to let it get a little bit thick before I start playing with my coaster. This is just an old coaster that I've made. It's kind of beachy so I thought I'll try some waves on it. So like I don't know how long to wait but till it gets a bit thicker. So after 10 minutes it's quite warm but you know if it cures in an hour or sets up in an hour it's going to get warm pretty fast so that's that um, for my white I'm trying this one here the just resin white I don't think I've ever used this before really brand new give it a good stir well it's not brand new I've had it for a while but I've never used it I don't know why I've got that many different brands of white I've actually got quite a few that I've never used before but let's give it a good mix so I thought I'd either wait 10 minutes or 15 minutes with the resin. It's really thick, that is. And see what it does. I don't want to get to the stage where, you know, it goes all gloopy and then I've, I've lost it. So that's 10 minutes now. I guess I could start working with it and then let it sit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some on here. And actually move you out of the way. I'm just going to use this. I'm just going to spread that out just to the edges, just to dome it. It's an art coat, so it should dome nicely. I'm not going to take it all the way down. I'm just going to leave it at about there so that I can have a little bit of 
that'll be my beach, my light blue. <laughs> Just pop that over. Not sure how much you need. Those of you who do waves, so good at waves, you'll know what to do. Me, I'm just a beginner with waves. I've only been doing resin for about oh, 18 months, I guess, coming up to 18 months, so still relatively new. I'm still learning about it all the time. Not quite sure how thick to make this. But anyway, there we go. It's just got a coating. Can't make it too thick, it'll all run off, hey? So there we go, it's over the edges, doming beautifully, nice and thick. All right, so let's put Put a little bit in here. I didn't need all that. Actually, I've got another coaster. Maybe I can do another one with the leftovers and let it sit a bit longer. Hey, that's a possibility. Now, I don't need a lot of white, but I want to make it really opaque. So there's just a uh, maybe half a centimetre. I want to make it really, really heavy with white. There you go, big scoop. <laughs> That's probably too much. You guys are laughing at me going, oh, it's too much. It's not like the 3D bloom where you want it to be just opaque so that your color isn't too heavy. You know, I want this to be able to, I want the lacing to be able to spread without breaking away or breaking apart. So people say put down a clear, a clear layer of, resin first but that is clear so do I put another layer of clear on just like a thicker layer like that let's do that let's do it all right so let's put some of this on just in front of that I'm not going to have it on top of the clear just in front oops I've spilled some this is nerve-wracking you guys I'm trying to do it in front anyway it's kind of Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. I'm making a mess. Ah. Let me clean my, let me clean my coaster. It's probably a lot of resin, a lot of white for a little coaster, isn't it? That's okay. All right, so I think what's it doing? Yeah, it's still, it's still usable. It's still, it's getting pretty warm though. All right, let me get my heat gun. I'm going to put it on, oh gosh, I don't know, do you put it on high or do you put it on low? I'm going to put it on, uh, no, let's put it on low. I'll just wait for it to heat up first. It's going to warm it a bit. And then I'll see if I can start pushing it, hey? I'm going to keep my edge though. I don't want to blow my edge away. Actually, I'm supposed to go horizontal. I keep forgetting. I've been watching videos and people go, go horizontal. All right, there we go. That's done. Now, they always use the blowtorch, the heat gun. Uh, that's a heat gun. This is a blowtorch. Let's do a... right but I'm getting something just gonna tilt that a little bit so that they can kind of stretch out a bit we go over the edge <gasps> oh, well I've, I've got something going on there you guys something going on oops I'm trying to tidy up my edge Oh wow, I've got something going on. Maybe I had a little bit too much white in there. Over here where it's not so thick, it's kind of, look at that, it's 
moving more. Maybe I'll tilt some of that off. I think I got a bit close. It's gone a bit white. It's gone a bit yellow, actually, my resin. My white's gone a bit yellow. Oh, look, that's better. Oh, look, I'm stretching it out. Okay, maybe I put too much on. Oh, okay, it's gone. <laughs> okay, I've cured. Um, okay. Better not touch it anymore. Well, I think for a first attempt, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Over here is better where I kind of tilted it. I think I think I probably put too much white down. Oh, I'm going to do that again. All right. Um, let me just bring you down. I know it's not terribly exciting, but look, it was my first attempt. And I, like I said, I wanted to share. Um, and then I can look back and see what I did wrong. Over there where it was really quite um, thin, the white, it was quite like it wasn't a very thick covering of white. It's kind of celled up nicely. And then there where I stretched it, it's gone pretty good too. But yeah, I don't see, I don't know whether I've left it too long and it was getting a bit too thick. Um, but yeah, maybe I've put too much white in and also probably too much, a bit too big a line. But anyway, there we go, first little attempt. Um, I'm going to have another go. See you soon. Right, let's do this again. Now I've made up some more resin. I just did 20 grams of A and 20 grams of B because last time I had some left over and I don't want to waste it. I haven't got much left. I do have some other little bottles but... They don't go that far, so I just want to see if it'll work with this. Now, this is the five minute mark instead of that was the ten minute. Let's do the five minute. Let's put a little bit in there. And I won't put so much white in. Like I probably put enough white in to do like a huge piece. So that's just covered the bottom. Less than last time. Let's just dip that in. Hmm. Scrape the bottom. There we go. Dip it in, scrape the bottom, leave what's on the top. Okay? Because <laughs> it's not very much resin in there at all. It's only a tiny bit. And you need and I'm gonna put less white on there as well. It's only a little tiny coaster. I probably put way too much white and way too much resin and too much of everything. But look, unless you try, how do you know, hey? All right, let's do this again. You sit there. Let's pour this on. It is it is warm again. It's getting warm. Cures up pretty quickly. Now, the other thing, you know how um, it flash cured? Don't go and throw it in the in the rubbish bin, in the trash, just because it gets really, really hot. It, I would hate for it to... What's the word? Where it um, gets really hot and then bursts into flames. <laughs> What's that word? Self-combust or something? Is that it? Anyway, you'd hate for it to catch fire and set fire to things. So I just got it over there sitting on my bench. Um, and then once it's had a chance to cool down and set totally, then I'll chuck it out. All right, so that's it again. Not sure again how much I need to be putting on here. Enough, I guess, that it can flow around. But being an art coat resin, it is thicker to begin with. You know, it's not a casting resin. It's it's what you use to do your top coats on your artwork and things like that. And hopefully, waves. It'd be good if I could get it to work for waves, hey? All right, let's try this again. Put a little bit on my stick there. And just in front of... Oops. No, you've gone on top. I said in front of the clear. It's really hard to actually put a little bit on. It's really hard to put a tiny bit on. I wonder on in front of the clear though, it's kind of gone on top, which means it may just all fly away instead of it's part of it sticking to the um, dry coaster. 
think that's the little trick isn't it put it so that you've got some that it's on the dry coaster um, and it sticks there rather than floats away when you blow it all right let's try this again I've probably still got too much there but let's have another try hey okay? changed up a few things less white less time let's heat it up first I'm going to heat it first this time and then once it starts moving then I'm going to just push gently up oh, horizontal Julie horizontal Slowly, slowly, slowly. There, and then I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to overdo it. Now I'm going to come in with my torch. And see if we can get anything happening. Hmm, not so much. The other one was better. For some reason. Oh, hang on. There we go. Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Ah, okay. <laughs> Needed more heat. I put a bit too much heat there. Look. It did it. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> wow, okay. And it probably needed a little bit of slower heat, more gentle heat, because I've put too much on there. I've burnt it. It's gotten yellow. But look, I've got lacing. That was the previous one. So yay, I'm getting better you guys, I'm getting better. I will get there. It might take me a while, but I'll get there. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I can use that again on something else. See if I can just go and grab another one real quick. And see if I can do it again. There's all my house is gone. I'm gonna have none left. Oops, now you've got, you're covered in resin. You're just going to have to go there. Let's try this again. I've got a little bit left. Although it's probably getting too hot now, isn't it? Probably going to have the same problem that I had with the first one. Let's just see. Let's spread it. I could always go over these coasters again. Okay, just there's not much there at all. It's probably oh, it's probably gone a bit gooey actually. I think when other people do it, they sort of theirs kind of spreads like that more. So, all right, um, let's heat it. And then push it just across the top. <laughs> oh, that didn't do very well, did I? Alright, let's try and heat this one again. overheat it like last time though it tends to want more heat though doesn't it see there where I've got closer oh there look at that up there oh look oh look oh my gosh it look okay so that one is Oh, this one's doing some stuff too. Maybe I'm just too impatient. <laughs> okay. Look, you guys, I've got lacing. I don't know what I did, but I'm getting a bit closer with the heat. Maybe I can just use my other torch without the actual flame. Sort of. What's the 
best I've been able to do so far. I did push all my resin off the edge there, so I didn't need that much. Obviously, didn't need that much. All right, let me get you down. Ah. See, I don't want to do like a big piece and waste a lot of resin and product and stuff if it doesn't work. So I'd rather just stick to little pieces. Look, I'm so excited. Look, I've actually got, I've got the edge. It looks like a rolling wave. Look at that. <gasps> wow. And I've got some lacing. Now, how come I've got really good lacing up there? And then here, maybe a little bit too thick still. You guys that do a lot of waves, tell me please in the comments down below. So these down here where I've only got like little little bubbles, little lacing. And then up here I've got the nice big lacing. Is this because it's too thick? Like have I got too much white in my resin or have I got too much white resin on the coaster? I'm thinking maybe there's too much too much resin, yeah? This one had less resin. They're not very symmetrical though at all, but look at least they at least there's lacing there. And then that one was the first one which I waited I think too long. Um, and I'll put way too much white in there. Oh, look, I'm, I'm quite impressed with myself. It's not bad. Not bad for a first attempt. Not bad at all. I really like how you've got that 3D look of the wave there rolling. See, I didn't really get it with that, that first one. It's more flat. Yay! Anyway, there we go. Um, so, yeah, art coat. Who would have known? Who would have thunk it from Platinum? All right, I'll, I'll keep playing with it. I might have to get some more and um, keep practicing with it and see if we can, if, if it can be a wave resin because that would be amazing. So far, so good. But yeah, I'll keep practicing with it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and um, yeah, I'll, I'll find some more coasters to practice on or maybe a tile. I'll do a tile next. All right. Love you guys. Take care. Bye for now.